Welcome to Beja Lifestyles where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. And now it's time to Puck. No, I did not curse. We are here with Puck Barbados Pop Up Coffee here on Pebbles Beach. One of the many things you can do here at Pebbles Beach. She's here from 6 a.m. till about 8, 9 a.m. and you can get some of the best coffee in Barbados while you enjoy the horses taking their swim. Let's talk with Nola and learn a little bit about the reason why she pucked it. Okay, <laughs> Nola. Hey. Tell me all about Puck. Why the name Puck first? First of all, pop up coffee, and I knew I could have loads of fun with Puck. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love <laughs> Never it. gets old. Yeah. Puck it. Wake up, how do you like your puck in the morning? I got pucked in Barbados. It goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> how did you come up with the concept? Well, to be honest, I have a hospitality background anyway. And when I moved over, it was in the back of my head to eventually have a cafe. And as you know, I plan on staying in Barbados forever and I purchased a house. However, I wasn't ready to retire, so I was required to have a, a long-term work permit, which requires incorporation of a company. Right. So I was like, okay, what can I do? And I'm actually a member of the, of the cruising club, which nice. is right, and my son, dives with G Fish Water Sport. So I'm here all the time anyway. And I was looking at the horses one morning and I was like, are these guys here seven days a week and no one's selling coffee? And the answer was no. Hence, pop up coffee. Because yeah. it was just, it was, you know, everything was about timing. Because I was just thinking between the cruise club and uh, water, it's just like a one stop shop here anyway. So it was just, a, it was a great place to be stationary. Yeah. You know, and, and to be honest, you, you can't find a beach spot anywhere. So I, it was just all serendipity at the right place, right time. Yeah. So this is like, it was perfect. And I'm the only idiot on the island that gets up at 3.30 a.m. So I have no competition because people don't come to an island to wake up at 3.30 to be here ready to sell coffee at five o'clock. So, you, have, so. you found a way to beat the competition. Absolutely. Honestly. Well, not, like, to be, to, like a, a loophole. Well, well, as you know, I am a big believer in supporting local community. Mm -hmm. So not so much avoiding competition, not stepping on anyone's toes, or taking away from someone's business that's already established. So this way, I finish, you know, I, I'm here at five to set up for 5.30, so when the horses come, there's coffee available for folks, and I'm, at, I'm packed and ready to go by 8.39 latest before the cafes and things open. You know, and so there's, I'm not really stepping on anyone's toes. Um, and to be honest with Puck, initially I will always be her stationary at Pebbles, but the idea is to find a way to potentially offer locals an opportunity long-term. For instance, what I'll do on my own, eventually I'll leave here and have a puck truck, do a couple loops around the island, and I'm home again before anyone really gets started. I'm not, again, not stepping on toes. However, what I want to do long term is to have a bit of a franchise to give locals an opportunity to sort of have a business. Like if I want, if someone thinks, oh, why don't you have one at, is it Whole Town? Yes. I Holtown. could say to a local, listen, you do my stand, you take 70% of whatever you make. And then it's a business opportunity and not just a wage for someone. So if we can make it the franchise that I want it to be, it's giving locals an opportunity to become entrepreneurs. As we know, we all COVID hit everyone. Exactly. And so a lot of locals realize, no, we need to get a side hustle and a gig going. And I know for myself, with all the projects I do, I've always had a lot of support. So it's kind of like payback for me. People have helped me get to where I am so I can help someone else get to where they are. For instance, um, a friend of mine who's trying to get her baking business, Ashley Delights, plug! But anyway, <laughs> so when we get more established, I'll start carrying her baked goods. Um, oh gosh, it would have been so cool if I could have said, Ashley Delights, right find her on Instagram. Yeah. You know, and then there's, of course, G. Yeah, G Fish Waters, best <laughs> snorkeling diving, plug! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then we have the cruise club, starts at 10 till midnight, plug! Yeah. <laughs> So no, it, no, it's great. Now, to be honest, well, you know, you, mm -hmm. it's a one-stop shop here. Love Between it. me now, you've got the cruise club that mm -hmm. opens at 12 now, but they're eventually going to be doing breakfast. You've got Chris Cocktails right yes. there. You've got your fish guy. It's just, you know, with, with the bar. So no, it's great. Yeah. You can just really, people can come here and start at five and stay, stay, the, whole to, to, stay the whole day. Yeah. Exactly. Sunrise. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Puck, I'm the sunrise. The the other, yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's why we keep you around, Sabrina. <laughs> and apparently, I have the best coffee in Barbados. Ooh. Quote, and I quote, Whoa. and I quote. It was really, one of the best things I heard was two things. One, because I've only been going just under a couple months, and I had someone come in and say, oh, we heard about you before we got to the island. So people know now that I'm here with the horses before they even come on some occasions. 
And one woman came down, she goes, oh, it's a bit too early for me. She had a coffee. Next day she goes, your coffee is so much better from where I'm staying. I had to come back. So that's, yeah, so that's, that's good. It makes me feel good because I wanted to do a good coffee, but at a reasonable price. I didn't want to do stupid prices. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for five Beijing dollars, you get a good bite, nice strong, strong coffee. Yeah. Start you off with this. Yeah. And it's, and it's not even so much because people are like, what do you, what do you use? It's, it's not so much what I use. It's how much I use. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's how I make it is, is the thing. I make it nice and strong with a bite to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would tell you, but I'd have to kill you after. So. <laughs> It's a secret. It's, it's a secret. It's a secret. It, but, it's, but funny enough, the secret is in how I do it, not yes. what I'm doing. It's how I put it. Yeah. do it. Yeah, just, you know, almost more than I should yeah. and with a little touch to grow on. Uh -huh. And that's where the magic happens. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I love and I also it. do hot teas. I do hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And just in case, I always have my cooler with me for a couple cold drinks, oh, like nice. box juices in cold water. And I always have some form of bake goods. I started off baking cookies on my own every day and then I was like if I bake one more cookie because if I, well, what's happening if I didn't bake them at night I have to wake up at three instead of three at baking cookies yes. and I was ready to slip my wrist so I'm like no. <laughs> so funny enough I started I went into um, just to buy make sure there was something there and I discovered Dr. Donut. Man they yes. sell like crazy so yes. yeah thank you Dr. Donut wherever you are <laughs> thank you. <laughs> love it, love so now it, if it. I don't bake or, or my friends promoting her business. Speaking of the club, there we go. Hey, you gotta grab a shot of him and get us some coffee. Yes, definitely. <laughs> See, it's been a good day. When that's tilted, that means I've pretty much sold out. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So um, he manages. He's one of the, the on the committee of the of the cruise club. Yeah, it's all going. Yeah. So so no, it, it's 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 good, and I love it. I mean, the hardest part is when my alarm, I've got it written on my alarm. You know, you can save a, a strap line on your, when you set your alarm. Yeah. Mine says puck o'clock at 3.30. Uh. It's like, oh, okay, here we go. But once I'm up, I'm set up, I love it. Cause I'm, you know me, I can talk for England. <laughs> so all I'm doing is selling coffee and talking to people. It's great. Mm -hmm. I'm finally getting paid to talk. I love it. Love it, <laughs> love it, love it. You get to do what you love. You get to enjoy Barbados. Exactly. You get to enjoy meeting people absolutely and because i have that life experience with both places i was originally from the states mm -hmm. i left when i was like 27 and stayed in europe I was in greece a couple of years and then i moved over from the uk my kids are born and bred in the uk so when people come from the uk or america i've got those points of references even canada because i went to university upstate new york oh. so most people who come i've got like points of references to talk and stuff so it's no it's good it's good I love that. I love um, that. but i i'd like more because you know it'd be well you again i'm telling you nothing you don't already know a lot of locals don't know about the horses, that they're here seven they know, days right? a week. They don't. They do not. So I, I would love to, to encourage locals to come down, you know, and that's one of my price. And I wasn't going to like price locals out. I wanted locals to be able to get five dollars and a great cup of coffee, yes. you know, instead of having to go to you know, big, more expensive places, exactly. not naming any names. Yeah. But now you can come get a really good cup of coffee for a fiver and teas or even teas and hot chocolate are like for four dollars. Do you think um, you'll like fan to more types of coffees like frappes? I don't know. What I'll, I'll always have the basic because what people tend to do in business is they start pricing people out. I right. will, you will always be able to get a, a five for me. Yeah. What I might start doing, I might get a bit more gourmet and leave that as an option. Right. You know, filter coffee five, gourmet coffee eight or ten dollars or whatever. Yeah. But it's but again, you've got all of that out there. People are here to see the horses, really. And I and I'm like this added bonus that was missing. So I'm not looking to become like you know gourmet and all this and that. Sometimes it's just you know when you cook. Sometimes if you just use onions basic. and garlic, you get great yes. flavor Pepper without exactly. Yeah. So I kind of want to do that with the coffee. I'm not looking to be a big posh, you know this and that. I might I, one day I might have some syrups available if people want them. Um, but it's just simple. It's keeping it simple, you know. It, it, one like for instance again another example. For years all I wanted some chocolate ice cream. You got chocolate milk, you got chocolate nut, you got chocolate Swedish chocolate. I just want chocolate ice cream. Yeah. So the same with the coffee. I just, some people just, just want a want cup a of coffee. Because before you know, because we get, lot, people are queuing up for it now. Can you imagine? Oh, I want half vanilla, half skinny, half, no, cup of coffee. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> so it, again, it will be an option. But honestly, I get such good feedback the way I make the coffee. People are usually happy with it. Um, and I, like I said, I might down the line have a gourmet option. Yeah. What, what I'm more looking down the line, because it gets hot after I shut down, I will probably look into iced coffee. Gee. And then speaking of diving, you're gonna come in, get in there. Come on. So I think I might eventually have iced coffee if, for when I leave in my pup truck and stuff. So when it gets hot, I'm more, yeah, yeah. So there we go. 
And he comes every morning and goes, I was, about, I was about to say, and says that. What's up, mother pucker? I told you, the name never gets old. <laughs> I love it. Definitely, definitely. I love the concept. It really adds to the overall, it completes Pebbles Beach. It that does. That's actually my next thing to do. I want to show people you can come from 6 a.m. Exactly. You can have a cup of coffee with Puck. You can have some lunch at the yep. um, cruising club. Or you can have some, uh, you know, fish cutter. Yeah. Because fish cutter. You and get some then, crisp cocktails. Morning, exactly. You know everything here. Yeah, exactly. Coconut, yeah, and they're refreshing coconut. And, yeah, 6 a.m. is a guarantee because it was, I tell people, you know, I've not had an off day since I've started. I'm like going yeah. on like, I don't know, day 40 plus. I'd fit, it could be, I don't know. But the point is, my off day is getting here maybe at 5.20 instead of 5 a.m. <laughs> That's my, but then the coffee, because it takes my machine about 30 minutes to puck. Um, the big one. Uh -huh. So then it's six instead of five thirty. Right. But you know, it's island time now. I can say that between five thirty and six. Right. You know, but it depends <laughs> if I'm giving myself twenty minute off day. And um, yeah, but no, I've been here every day straight. Even lately, that big storm, mm -hmm. I came. I was ready for it. I was like, I, I go if I just put the tent and the table. I have my little emergency maker who gets me coffee like that yeah. set up. But then all of a sudden, shh. Tent went in. Oh, I was like, no. oh, but one of the horse handlers called me. He said, Nola, get out of there. The weather's going to be bad. We're not yes. even coming down. Yes. So I got it. And then my tip snapped. I was ready. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> even, every time I leave my house and it's rain, I go, just go mm -hmm. and see what happens. And sure enough, I've never had to not set up except that one recent. Yeah, morning, yeah. The, you know, for and that um, storm. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love it. You have to, you know, I love the inconsistency about Barbados in terms of my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to business, you have to be consistent. And if they say there's a lovely lady that sells good coffee, I gotta be the lovely lady that's selling good coffee. Yeah. 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 So yes, and maybe one day my 20 year old might give me an off day, but we'll see. <laughs> good luck with that. Yes. We'll see. Final question. How, what would you say to those who would like to do the same thing? Come to Barbados, you know, and live and work. You live and work, but you look out for community. You don't just come here and live and work. You come here, you be a part of community, and you support community while yeah, you're here. Kind of mesh into you have to. There. You cannot come here and not do that. I think personally, survey of one. Mm -hmm. You know, cause, and you know, I got this, and I'll be honest. I'm completely transparency. I don't appreciate when people come and just treat this like paradise, and there's not a community here. Yeah. There's a community that lives, works hard yeah. to keep this whole place running, mm -hmm. so they can enjoy paradise. You come here, you support that, the people who are supporting you behind the scenes. So that's what I would definitely say. Don't just come here and sip coconuts and forget that you're part of a bigger community. Love it, love it. You know, definitely. I will unapologetically say that to anyone who's planning on moving here. Love it. Come be a part of community or support community while you're here. Because you know, it's always people behind the scenes. Yeah. Someone's made that cocktail. Someone's getting up while you're still dreaming yeah. to make sure your bed's made. Exactly. Someone's you know these all these little lights and everything you see you've got Bayesians waking up taking a bus w whatever making sure running this island you don't yeah. pop up to paradise someone behind the scenes is supporting what you do here and I'm a big believer in support that like, hence hopefully this will become a franchise that locals can like have a business opportunity whether it's you know on that level or selling someone's baked goods you know what I would love this is my vision of like 10 years from now I would love the bar somehow Barbados makes coffee beans, and yes. we don't go outside to do that. There are a few places here that grow, but not on a large scale. Yeah, I would love to be to say I, I use local coffee. See, at the top. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and there's that. All part of the yeah. island life. Yeah. You guys see him. So yeah, I definitely would love one day to sell local coffee beans that made in Barbados and the money Actually, stays in Barbados. There is. there is. Quick plug for that company that I cannot remember right now. I don't know if they import, but I know there is a place yeah. that makes, that has coffee beans, that makes coffee, but I don't know if it's Barbadian this coffee This is what beans. I mean. I want it to like be grown. And I know it's an horticultural issue. I'm probably mm -hmm. saying that wrong. But it can be done. Yeah. You can, it just, it might not, it can, yeah. it can nature can adapt. Yes, yes. I yes. want that coffee beans coming from mm -hmm. Bayesian soil mm -hmm. and all that money stays here. Yes, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yes. Yeah, that's what, even if it's 10 years from now, because it's always about what you're doing for the future. Yes. You know, if, I, if you could plant a seed in 10 years from now, Bayesians will be making money from 
selling their own coffee. So Nola, can I call you, what am I going to call you, uh, uh, American, Bajan, or Bajan, American? Can I've got a Bajan heart. you got a Bajan heart. <laughs> i got a Bajan heart. I'm American with a Bajan heart. I love that. I love yeah. that. And funny enough, my ancestry, we come back at least eight generations from the States now, but we did our answer, and my, uh, it's from Haiti. Oh. My, my African heritage is from Haiti, which could be, so I like to think that it was from Barbados, but yeah. But yeah, in terms of, you know how all that worked, but yeah, Love I am, um, but no, I definitely have a Bayesian heart. That's yeah. what I tell people. Absolutely. So once again, come down to Pebbles Beach. Yep. And get pucked. Get pucked. Get pucked. Get, get pucked. pucked. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs>